Hi there, I'm Kate with Sally Tomato, and today I'd like to share pebbles with you. Not only are they cute and collectible, like their animated namesake, Pebbles Flintstone, but they're easy to sew. A pebble is super useful as a discreet doorstop, a pattern or paperweight, or use a few more for holding the alfresco tablecloth on a picnic table. Let's get started. We recommend fabrics that will not fray as we will be using raw edge construction. If your fabric is lighter in weight, you may want to add a heavy stabilizer. I also have a scrap of sewing foam because I'm going to add an optional handmade label and rivets. And these are available on our website in nickel, gold, gunmetal, antique, and rose gold. Then you'll need a filling such as rice, poly pellets, aquarium gravel, or a filling of your choice. Have a few notions and tools on hand for smooth assembly. I'm using sulky 40 weight poly deco thread, clover wonder clips, chalk or removable pen, rotary cutter or scissors, basting tape or spray, paper tape, stiletto and seam rippers, and then also Teflon foot and a zipper or a narrow foot. And if you'd like to add rivets, have a rotary punch, setting tools, and hammer nearby. Now cut out all the pieces of fabric and stabilizer following the instructions in the pattern. You'll need to shape the two side base panels, again referring to the pattern for the exact measurements. Trim away the excess fabric to shape the sides of each side base panel. Next, the heavy stabilizer piece is centered over the wrong side of one side base panel between the marked lines. Also, add a piece of stabilizer to the top piece. This really helps if you happen to use a heavy filling. Hold the stabilizer in place with basting tape, basting spray, or sewing clips, and we're ready for some sewing. Insert a new top stitch needle into your machine and set a 3 mm stitch length. Then top stitch an eighth inch from the raw edges of the heavy stabilizer. You may find using a Teflon foot can help the fabrics move smoothly while sewing. While we're at the sewing machine, top stitch along all the edges of the handle piece for reinforcement and it adds an interesting detail. The stiletto comes in handy for guiding that little handle piece under the presser foot. Now position the handle a quarter inch in from the opposite corners of the top piece. Use basting tape or sewing clips to hold the handle in place. Top stitch the handle in place sewing a triangle shape in each corner of the handle. Stitch right over the top stitching at the handle points. And as I'm stitching, I'm thinking maybe a small rivet might look really nice inside the top stitching. Okay, I can't resist. I'm going to add rivets in the handles. An extra layer of foam will help the rivet set properly. Be sure to check out Jess's video tutorial on our YouTube channel to see how really easy rivets are to install. Okay, let's begin the pebble assembly. Add basting tape or glue to the stabilizer side of one side base panel. With the stabilizer panel wrong side up, place the remaining side base panel also wrong side up, perpendicular to the panel below it. Align the line markings at the raw edges, keeping the base layers square. Top stitch along the marked lines and the raw edges with an eighth inch allowance, securing the base layers together. Align the top with the top raw edge of one side, wrong sides together. Hold the edges together with sewing clips. Now top stitch along the edge with an eighth inch allowance starting an eighth inch in from the end. End the seam an eighth inch before the edge of the fabrics. Be sure to backstitch at the beginning and end of the seam. While the pieces are still flat, it's time to insert a handmade label, centered on the right side along one side panel. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel for Jess's detailed video tutorial on installing this hardware. Adding a label is completely optional, but it gives a designer look to your pebble. 
Then align and clip each pair of raw side edges wrong sides together and top stitch each pair of side edges. I do find it easier to clip and stitch one side at a time and don't be afraid to squish the fabric to make it easier to sew. Next, align the top with the raw edges of the sides, wrong sides together. We're going to clip the edges together with sewing clips, making sure we leave one edge open. Top stitch along those two sides. Again, remember to leave one edge opening to add the filling. Okay. Now fill the pebble about three quarters full with a weighted filling. That's about five to six tablespoons of rice. I do prefer using rice or poly pellets as they won't damage the sewing machine if the filling gets too close to the needle as I top stitch along the remaining top and side edges. Again, wrong sides together, closing the fill opening. And you're finished. Keep your papers and patterns in place with one or use a few pebbles to hold the tailgating, napkins, or picnic table in place when it's breezy. This monthly mini pattern is a perfect complement to our Cork of the Month Club, so be sure to check out these two clubs for lots more sewing fun. And we'd have fun seeing your collection of pebbles. So share a photo using hashtag SallyTomato and hashtag PebblesPattern. Thanks for sewing with me, and we all look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.